previously on Chaser. Kabir. Chaser. I am so very happy to meet you in person, Mr. Chaser. Welcome aboard. leads through the north part of the harbor warehouses. After the beating of the waterworks, the remnants of the raiders withdrew here. There's no way to get through. Do you see that old lighthouse? From there, you and your sniper rifle will make sure that we pass without problems. When we get through, you'll join us, taking the wet road. Yeah. The wet road is the fastest way to get from the lighthouse to the docks. My people frequently use it if they want to get to the docks unobserved. It leads through the ship cemetery. There are small radio beacons at the bottom that react to a specific frequency. How will I find the first one? My people use a torpedo, which has a beacon detector. You will find it at the rear entrance to the lighthouse. Okay, I'll go for it. Expect my signal. Hello and welcome back. That was quite the info dump, so let's try to break some of it down. As you can see, we're now on the coastline and our objective is to make our way up to the top of that lighthouse. The ultimate goal is to provide sniper support for Kabir as he makes his, his way through a warehouse area and we're just there to lend a hand. Kabir provided us with some additional information, but we'll come back to that when it's time. For some reason the game gives us enough information to cover four levels, but um, as I said, we'll come back to that. Our first task is to clear out some of these enemies and that'll give us the chance to have a closer look at the lighthouse. A brief check of the surrounding area shows everything to be clear. However, we can't get into the lighthouse. The, uh, the main entrance appears to be blocked. So, we need to find another way in. This really begins the tendency to have extremely large levels um, in Chaser. The main thing you'll probably notice is that by the time you get to the end and actually get inside the lighthouse, you'll really have no idea where you are based on where the lighthouse is. Since you go inside, there's not a lot of visual reference. In true FPS fashion, the correct way to go is where all of the enemies are, so we just make our way down there. You've got a new weapon, the Beretta M12, and it's in the same class as the Uzi, but we'll, we'll really not be using all that much. It's, it's just a bit of extra flavouring. Although I must say, it does sound very nice. Up here we are rewarded with some armor and some impact grenades which, which um, we already have a full supply of so unless we've been using it willy nilly since the beginning of the level we really don't need these. A 
in these enclosed quarters we get a much better opportunity to show off the shotgun. It turns out to be very effective. Die, you freak! And here is another new weapon, the grenade launcher. Um, well, there's not really much to say. You can fire grenades of two kinds. You can fire impact grenades or timed grenades, and they do exactly what you think. But with the FAMAS already having a, an attached grenade launcher, it's really a redundant weapon. You, you absolutely do not need this. There's a little secret of sorts underneath this building, which we'll get to. The only reason I really noticed it is because I was getting shot at. might have heard me try to launch a grenade at him, but unfortunately I had none left. Here I'd like to point out a problem I have with Chaser's ammo. I have absolutely no idea what gun this ammo is for. I'm sure it's very realistic and anyone with any knowledge of, of guns and weapons and that sort of thing will, will know exactly what they're for, but really as a gamer I have no idea what goes with what. I just pick up whatever I find and hope that whenever I need it it's there. The only way forward seems to be through this building, and there's the lighthouse for visual reference, and through the door we go. What are you doing here? I can see it! One particular thing about this particular level is that there are a lot of doors, but you have no real visual indication as to which ones you can open, uh, which ones you can't, and which ones only open from one direction. It ends up being uh, another case of just trying everything and then hoping that you kind of cover all your bases. Go ahead! We'll leave that door for the moment and check out the downstairs area first. Yet another room full of doors, and this door seems to be held open by this guy's corpse. He's here! seemed like a waste of time coming down here, but this room gives us full health and full armor, so it's really nothing to be sniffed at.
and here we've got a very good example of why I love this game. Um, it's taken a while to get here, but if you look around, you just see that the place is falling to bits, and they've put a hell of a lot of effort into the, the level geometry, and I'm really appreciative of that. It's something that I'll, um, I'll touch upon every now and then, but I'll be focusing on it more in a, in a later episode. And if you're wondering, yes, I blew myself up in those three deaths. I haven't got a lot of health, but luckily I found some armor. Look out! And goodbye armor. Through this door is an area we can't actually get to yet, but it ends up being our main route into the lighthouse complex. some issues with this area in the past so I'm just kind of taking things a little slowly. There are a lot of places the guys spawn from so it's uh, best to take precautions I feel. Look out! He's dangerous! What are you doing here? As you can see I'm not doing too well. sure if it's just me but I find something very visually wrong with this part of the water it it feels like I'm standing under the water level it's it's weird I can't put my finger on it so we find a hole in the wall it looks to be the only way to go but a quick run around the area just to make sure Other than the armor, there's not really anything else worth coming up here for. Just got a little bit of destroyed scenery and not much else. So we just need to make our way back downstairs. Down at the end of this corridor we have um, a doorway we can't get through and on the other side is a, another corridor which um, leads into the main complex for the lighthouse and it's something we'll end up coming back to. But it's uh, important to, to note in it, at least in, in terms of orientation for the level that this way is toward the lighthouse. Something's 
fairly common is rooms being filled with random machinery and uh, this game is no, no exception. Having a look through this door, I notice that I can actually stand on this little tiny lip of geometry. Just manages to distract me for a little bit. Another room with lots of doors, but before we go through this one, I'm just gonna run back and explore an area I haven't got into yet. We see we actually did ourselves a bit of a favour, we took out some guys who would have gotten us had we gone through the door normally. And now finally we're at my favourite part of this level. Just have a look at the level design and just how much detail went into the broken scenery and things. And I, I don't know, maybe you'll be just as impressed as I am. It's, it's it's something that really does draw my eye, and it's it's something that I find in Eastern European games more so than than Western games. So, uh, like I said, I'll come back to this later. He's here. Okay, keep that doorway in mind, it's, uh, that's the way we're supposed to go, but uh, ends up taking up a little while longer than I expected. Here, I'm just trying to explore this upper area a little bit more and... Uh, oh. Right. Yeah, we're right at the very entrance of this building, so... We're gonna have to make our way all the way back round! gonna drop things back to normal speed here for a moment just once again to show off the lighthouse so you can get a better look at the the orientation of that corridor I'd mentioned before the one with the red light Okay, no, let's try that again. Perfect. That previous encounter with the lip of the doorway gives me an idea. I get the impression that I can creep all the way around this, um, so I go for it. And on the other side of this door is that walkway that we really should have taken the first time around. Once more, some lovely level design. This 
Ghost Door takes us back to the um, initial entrance, but uh, we're pretty much done with this area, so it's downwards and onwards. There! An empty room, and a door we can't go through, so empty room it is. He's here! Interesting machinery and a ladder which we'll worry about later. We'll just back through the door and have a look at what was on the other side of that corridor. Aha, and here we have that red doorway that leads into the lighthouse complex. Um, if we wander up we can't get through so it, in the end it's kind of a, a red herring but but we'll eventually come through this way in a slightly different manner. Texas to one of the rooms I'd mentioned before that ends up being our main way into the lighthouse complex. He's dying. Look at him. This is the doorway with the little hut that had the health inside. The trick with this structure is that it has two ladders, but uh, the ladders are broken in um, in separate places. So you have to use you get halfway up on one side, and then run around, and then get up the last half on the second side. And you can see that the rest of the ladder there is broken, and there's there's no way to get across um, the gangway in front of us. So we have to go through this door. This is a very brief tour of the areas that we've been through before. And then it's through the door, onto the ladder, and up we go. wasn't immediately obvious to me the first time I played through this but we have to go down this hole and that takes us to a kind of hidden section which takes us into the lighthouse. Yes, those two wires were supposed to be a ladder, it's not the first time that's caught me out. And through the grating there you can see a, an old school Doom Hall of Mirrors type thing going on. Okay, so dropping down that hole has led us into some kind of access pipes. Um, these actually end up being on top of the area that we couldn't get through the locked door earlier on. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll get on with exploring that soon enough. Okay, so at the end of one of the, the pipes we've got a dead end, but if we look up, we'll see um, again the Hall of Mirrors effect. Um, if you want a brief explanation of what that is, well, 
whenever the game renders all of the polygons and stuff to the screen, generally well, it's good practice to clear everything that was there before, but for performance um, concerns sometimes people don't even bother. And that's really what's happening here. The, um, the, the screen isn't being cleared when the next render pass. So whenever the polygons are filled, um, the section there which, uh, which doesn't have any polygons doesn't get rendered. So you just end up drawing over the same part again and again and it's, it's, it's called the Hall, Hall of Mirrors effect and it's, it was something that was fairly obvious in Doom um, back in the day and it's still something you see here and there. Here's an opportunity to actually make some use of the grenades, so uh, we'll just get on with that. This little section is kind of um, a crossroads of four corridors, uh, with a bunch of rooms um, down another corridor and things like that. Um, I'll just make the effort to explore all of them, and there's there's some things we can pick up. I can see him. that leads down into the corridor um, so we're uh, we're securely inside the lighthouse um, sort of complex now so let's go back to business yes that is a vent that we can go into um, you might have noticed a few of them in some of the rooms but we'll get to those all eventually that door was the way ahead, so we'll uh, we'll not go through there just yet. We'll backtrack and have a look at the other doors and and some of the rooms and vents. When you're moving through these vents, you really do need to hold down the crouch button, um, otherwise you'll get stuck on those little lips at the top, um, and it's it's fairly aggravating. But um, there, there's an even worse example later on, but we'll get to that. Without a hit reticule, um, using the knife is is more than a little awkward. It's it's hard to hit people. It's it's I mean it's hard to, to um, break open this vent. Here we've got a secret room filled with goodies. So um, it was it was at least worth going through this one vent. These turn out to be regular fragmentation grenades and um, the uh, grenade launcher grenades, um, so it's always good to have. And even though it's two weapons we, we never really use. Something I quickly need to bring up about the guys that we're fighting here. Um, it was mentioned at the very start of the level by Kabir that these are the raiders that we met at the waterworks. 
Um, it seems a, a little convenient that these are the guys that we run into, so it leads me to believe that the waterworks was originally populated by Yakuza guys, and in order to, to have a reason for these guys to want to fight us, they just switched them out with raiders, and, and that's why we're in the situation that we're in now. Freeze! encountered some fairly heavy resistance there. Unfortunately, it, it doesn't really seem to mean anything. All of the doors here are locked and we can't, we can't proceed. So um, it appears that we're, we're a little bit stuck. We, we've still got two doors we can check in the corridors behind us, so I guess we'll have to head back there. This door um, and his vent is a complete dead end and while we're going through that I'll just let you listen to some of the user's music. Okay, there's um, only one door left and only one vent to go through, so let's uh, let's get on with that. As you can see, using the gun is a hell of a lot faster than the knife. For some reason we now have a crawling through the vent sound effect playing, which you didn't play before. If we stand still, it just keeps on playing, and it won't shut up until we leave. Okay, and here is the worst example of um, crawling through vents that I mentioned before. Um, if you try to walk in any way, um, up or down this, um, you'll get stuck in the, the upper lip things of the geometry. Um, so you have to crouch all the way, and it's extremely slow, and you, it's, it's horrible. Horrible, horrible stuff. Finally, we're at the end and we're in the unenviable position of being stuck in this vent with a bunch of guys hanging around outside trying to shoot us. thing about that voice clip is that it doesn't really relate to anything. He says to not let us through, but we're not really going anywhere, at least nowhere that he knows of. It can't be all that obvious to him that we're trying to get into the lighthouse and up to the top. But I'm probably just nitpicking. Cover me! Bit of a dirty trick there, going into this room spawns three guys outside. It's not pleasant. Like the same can be said for this room, um, which is it's strange because neither of these rooms have anywhere to go. They're kind of dead end, so I don't see why they should really be punishing you. It wasn't immediately obvious, we've slowly been making our way upwards, so we're definitely heading towards the lighthouse now. 
And we still got a little bit of distance to go. I can see him! I can see him! This is now the third time we've had a room like this, so I'm guessing that someone's going to spawn behind me, and I'm uh, not surprised when one does. look a little more as you might expect now. We've got a, a cylindrical uh, section of steps that we just kind of spiral up and down. Um, first we're going to have a look down at the bottom, um, although up is the way we're supposed to go. Um, it, it might seem a little odd, but we're, we'll go down first just to see that uh, the end of the level is actually down here and not up there. That doorway is actually a lift which takes us to the very, very top. Uh, why you can't walk all the way up there I'm not sure, but um, it, for some reason uh, we have to come down here and use a lift. So now we have to go all the way back up. Finally. Now um, we go into this room and uh, we have to pull a switch which um, unlocks the gate at the very bottom. Um, if we do this quick enough we can actually avoid spawning the enemies that come out um, whenever we leave the room um, but I, I took my time and because of that we now have to actually fight things on the way down. that this level is over and um, since it runs straight into the next one there's no ending cutscene so I guess that oh, I've broken the lift um, well oh, once I get inside I'll, I guess I'll see you next time next time on Chaser Tell me that you love me Yes, this is a kiss